guys, it's Amelia. Thanks so much for tuning in to my channel today. So today we are talking about troubleshooting the leg yield. A few weeks ago on my Facebook group, which is called Amelia's Dressage Club, check it out below if you want to join the club. But I asked you guys to send me some videos if you needed help with anything. Uh, because I really love hearing from you. I love seeing your issues because it helps me get an idea of how to give you better content, which is really what this channel is all about. So I had someone send me a video about the leg yield. So today's topic is troubleshooting the leg yield. Be sure if you like my videos to give me a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button so that you'll get notified whenever I have a new video. So today we're going to help Jill and she is having trouble with her leg yield. So here's what she says. Here are some short clips of me and my lease horse, Ben. He's a 16 year old off the track thoroughbred. I have trouble getting him to bring the right hind leg under. So our leg yields are terrible. He tightens his back when leg yielding to the left and raises his head and evades bringing the right hind leg under. He does a little better when I do this on the ground rather than in the saddle. Thanks for any advice. Okay, so I think that this is a really common problem with a lot of horses because most horses, their right hind leg is a little bit weaker. So a lot of times they'll just fall with the left front leg over and they won't actually let you push their right hind leg under. So they won't actually cross over with the right hind leg. And I think that, Jill, you're definitely on the right track with starting this from the ground. That's always what I recommend. I'll link below some groundwork videos that you guys can check out. But I'm going to give you guys a few tips today. We're going to first look at Jill's videos, then I'm going to give you a few tips for how she might be able to improve her leg yields. And thanks so much, Jill, for submitting this video. I really appreciate you putting yourself out there, which is never an easy thing to do. But I know that you're not alone with having this issue with your leg yields. And I really hope that we can give you some constructive exercises that are going to help you and your horse improve your leg yields. So let's get to it. Okay, so here is the video of Jill and her horse. And we're gonna look at the easy side first. So here she's pushing the horse off of the left leg. And you can see the horse is crossing over nicely. She's a little fussy in the connection, but that left hind leg is definitely crossing over the right hind leg. And that's really in the leg yield. You want to see that the legs are crossing. You want to see that the horse stays round and connected and that the rhythm is maintained. So same thing here at the trot. Um, this tr leg yield is actually a very nice leg yield. The horse is round and over the back and it shows clear crossing. You can clearly see that left hind stepping over the right hind. So good job on that one. And now this is the more difficult side. And you can see here how that right hind leg, it's trying to cross over the left hind leg, but it just looks a little stiff. It looks like the horse is a little bit stuck in the right hip and most horses are weaker on the right hind leg. So you can see there she took one good crossing step and then she was just a little bit stiff on crossing over that right hind leg. A lot of horses have trouble with the leg yield away from the right leg because they keep their right hind to the right in order to support them. So here again, Jill is showing us that leg yield off of the right leg, which she's struggling with. And I'm gonna give you some tips to improve that. One thing that I just wanted to point out here is that I love how Jill is maintaining her correct position. She's staying really straight up and down and not leaning at all to the side, even when she's having trouble moving her horse over. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how to correct this problem where the right hind leg isn't moving over in the leg yield. So the first thing is what we call a staircase exercise. So you're gonna turn up the center line, you're gonna start your leg yield, and then when you feel like the shoulders are just going and you're losing the haunches, you go straight again on the quarter line. And then when you start your leg yield again, you wanna really think about starting the leg yield with getting that right hind leg over. So let me show you again. So what you're going to do is you're going to go just a few steps over, make sure to get the right hind leg, then go straight, 
And then again, a few steps over, make sure to get the right hind leg and then go straight again. So it's really important that um, a couple things that you don't over bend the horse because if you over bend the horse, then you see how her shoulder just falls over and her haunches don't go over. So remember that a leg yield has flexion, but not bend. You want to keep the neck pretty darn straight. And then that when you start losing the outside shoulder, it's your outside rein that helps to control that outside shoulder. Good girl. So that's one exercise that I would recommend for getting the right hind leg over. The other exercise that I would recommend is doing a turn on the forehand off of your right leg. So I have some other videos on the turn on the forehand I'll link, but basically a turn on the forehand, what this tests is that you really have access that you can move the hind leg and keep the shoulders more or less in the same place. So I like to do a square where you do a quarter turn on the forehand and then walk forward out of it. Because what this is, this is gonna fix the crux of your problem in the leg yield, that you need to be able to control the left shoulder and access the right hind leg. So my left rein is half halting the left shoulder and then pushing the right hind leg over. And again, I'm half halting the left shoulder and pushing the right hind leg over. Good girl. She's good at those. Um, even though you have trouble with the right, it's good to always practice things in both directions. So whenever you're training your dressage horse, even if one side is more difficult than the other, it's always a good exercise to practice um, this in both directions. So again, I'm gonna half halt my outside rein and then push with the inside leg. Good girl. Good girl.